All quiet around here right now here at, uh, just after 10 o'clock in the evening as we look at WVTM 13 live Doppler though. Way up to the northwest, we do have some pretty heavy thunderstorms over Tennessee and North Mississippi, and some of those could impact parts of northwest Alabama just after midnight. There's a tornado watch in effect for Lauderdale, Colbert, and Franklin counties until 1 a.m. This is called a particularly dangerous situation, a PDS tornado watch. The storms haven't gotten here yet. It's going to take a little while longer for them to get to northwestern Alabama, but once they do, we think they could be pretty strong. Look up here to the northwest, a supercell east of Memphis. It's tracking south of Interstate 40. So as we look at the ultimate path on this one, that particular storm is going to miss northwest Alabama, but there are some down to the southwest over eastern Arkansas and western Mississippi that given enough time, and it's going to be about three and a half hours, so just after about 1 a.m. to 2 a.m., they should be affecting parts of especially Franklin and Colbert counties, and then we'll keep an eye up for Marion County and Lamar County as well, coming up well after midnight. In fact, as we time out that line, it would be after midnight when it gets to Tupelo. Florence would be just after one. Hamilton, it could be as late as two o'clock in the morning to get into that part of Marion County. That tornado watch goes all the way back over to eastern Arkansas, where they've already had some significant tornadoes today. I think as we start talking about the weather around here, it's not necessarily Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, Gadsden, Clanton, Sylacauga. It's places like Jasper and Cullman and Haleyville and Hamilton, as well as um, up to the north, Decatur, Athens, and over to the Shoals, where we have the greatest risk of life-threatening weather, potential for tornadoes, and damaging wind gusts within some of these storms. And that's evidenced here by the Storm Prediction Center's outlook. Every color that you can have on this outlook is right here between two states from the marginal risk south of Birmingham to the high risk northwest of Tupelo up to Memphis. This is where storms are most concentrated tonight. This is where they're going to be the most intense as they move toward us and we time this out now to midnight. They're the strongest in northwest Alabama as they move southeast. They start to lose some of that punch. Not to say they will be completely gone by four to five, six o'clock in the morning, but it certainly looks a bit less likely that we have severe weather east of Birmingham than to the northwest through the overnight hours and into early tomorrow morning. Here's where we think the greatest impact will be the greatest risk of severe thunderstorms now through about four o'clock in the morning over the northern part of the state. Watch the future cast here. You see the uh, thunderstorms rolling in. Coleman about 3 a.m. Jasper between 3 and 4. Birmingham closer to 5. And they're much more intense to the north, closer to the main body of this storm system that'll have a whole lot more energy with it to the north than it does to the south. But here's some good news. After we get rid of the showers tomorrow morning, we get up close to 80 on Saturday afternoon. It's a little cooler Sunday, especially in the morning. The high only around 72. Another round of heavy rain late Sunday into Monday. It's dry Tuesday and then more stormy weather is likely toward the middle part of next week. You're watching WVTM 13 News.